One of America's best-selling authors is digging into the Idaho quadruple murder case. It's a case News Nation, particularly our Brian Enton, has led the way on reporting since the beginning. We requested information from Prosecutor Bill Thompson's office about his history with death penalty cases, but we were told that request was denied because of the Brian Koberger gag order. We have confirmed that Brian Koberger's parents were called to testify in front of this investigative grand jury. All right, James Patterson will detail the killings of four University of Idaho students found murdered in their off-campus housing. The book will come out before the trial of suspected killer Brian Koberger, and James Patterson joins us now, America's best-selling mm -hmm. author in history. <laughs> Yeah, I don't what? know that the book is going to come out before the trial, but we're we're going to, we're working on it right now. Vicki Ward and I, who's a very very good journalist, what what about this case? Why this Idaho case is so fascinating? I I think the secret to to great mystery stories is is questions that that the viewer or the reader must have answered. And, and that's what this has. I mean, we think Brian Kohlberger is guilty. We th we'll see when the trial happens in late September. Um, but but there's still big questions. Why did he murder these young people? What is the effect on the town, on the families? Uh, he wanted to create, seemed to want to create the perfect murder. He didn't. What went wrong? And what happened beforehand? When he was in Pennsylvania, were, were there things that happened? Did he did he create? You know, did he commit any great crimes before he went out to Idaho? So there's a lot of I, questions, and that's what that's what drove me to write the book. You're you're famous, obviously, for detective novels, for the Alex Cross, Alex Cross novels. And what I'm wondering is 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 there something about writing truth that allows it to be stranger than fiction? That you can do things with, with <laughs> truth that are are because what fiction has to make sense, truth doesn't. Um, yeah, well, hopefully the fiction makes some sense that it tracks okay. You know, I do have an Alice Cross book coming out right now. It just came out today, uh, Cross Down. It's the first cross book that's ever come out in the summer. And Samson, his his partner, is is, is the big storyteller in this. And, and once again, getting back to what I said about the Idaho murders, questions that as readers and as viewers that we must get answered the question here the, the title is cross down does alice cross su survive that's the big question throughout the book uh and and i think why a lot of people are going to go and and order the book very quickly and, yeah. and 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 read it very quickly but that goes right yeah. back to idaho in terms of those questions we must have answered yeah, no, my mom is a huge fan of, of Alex Cross and, and obviously of, of your writing. So I, I think that she will be already, already has ordered it off of Amazon. Uh, help me understand. I like your mom about... and I like you better because of your mom. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Most people feel that way. Uh, then you meet the dog and you like everybody. Uh, help us understand real quick about Koberger. The, the Idaho, the Idaho formers, there was something about the murder of four college students, right? There's, there's tragedies that happen. There's murders that happen all the time. Yeah. Uh, what yeah. what about this you think? And you've had you've had a unique ability well, to understand what right polls at America. You're looking at it. Yeah. You're looking at it. Here are these four victims, these terrific kids, uh, the families, wonderful families that have been you know decimated. A town. This is a little a little similarity to Truman Capote wrote a very famous book in Cold Blood, where a terrible uh, two killers come to a to a small town. And, and, and it's a terrible thing that happened. Same thing happened, and this is Moscow, Idaho, where, uh, you know, a wonderful college town, good kids, and, and, and all of a sudden this terrible thing happens. And the town isn't really ready for it. You know, they, they, they haven't had things like this. They don't have murders out there like this. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the detectives have not dealt with stuff like this before. The prosecutor hasn't. Yeah, what, one, one last question. I, I only got a couple of seconds, but I wanted to get it in. You guys have done some, a lot of your own reporting on this. Is there anything you've uncovered so far that's not in the public record? Yeah, but we're not telling it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> tonight we're, tonight we're going to sell it. Tonight we're going to tell people to go read the new Alice Cross book because it's really All right. fun. All right. Well, all right. Well, you, you've you, left us you, in suspense, you. sir. It's good to see you. Thank you very much. We'll talk soon. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.